<clears throat> By the grace of Christ, let us go to the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 4. Chapter 4 of the Gospel according to Mark. <clears throat> And again he began to teach by the sea, and a great multitude was gathered to him, so that he got into a boat and sat in and on the sea. The whole multitude was on the land facing the sea. Then he taught them many things by parables and said to them in his teaching, Listen, behold, a sower went out to sow, and it happened as he sowed, and some seed fell by the wayside. And the birds of the air came and devoured it. Some fell on stony ground, where it did not have much earth, and immediately it sprung up because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up, it choked it, and yielded no crop. But other seed fell on good ground and yielded a crop that sprang up, increased and produced, some thirtyfold, some sixty, some a hundred. He said to them, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. But when he was alone, those around him with the twelve asked him about the parable. And he said to them, To you it has been given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. But to those who are outside, all things come in parables, so that seeing them may see and not perceive, and hearing them may hear and not understand, lest they should turn and the sins be forgiven them. And he said to them, <coughs> Do you not understand this parable? How then will you understand all the parables? The sower sows the word. And these are the ones by the wayside where the word is sown. When they hear, Satan comes immediately and takes away the word that was sown in their hearts. These likewise are the ones sown on stony ground who, when they hear the word, immediately receive it with gladness. And when they have no root in themselves and so endure only for a time. Afterward, when tribulation or persecution arises, for the word's sake, immediately they stumble. Now these are the ones sown among thorns. They are the ones who hear the word, and the cares of this world, the deceitfulness of riches, and desires of other things entering in, choke the word, and becomes a fruitful. But these are the ones sown on good ground, those who hear the word, accept it, and bear fruit, some thirtyfold, some sixty, some a hundred. Also he said to them, Is a lamp brought to be put under a basket or under a bed? Is it not to be set on a lampstand? For there is nothing hidden which will not be revealed, nor has anything been kept secret, but that it should become to light. If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. And he said to them, Take heed what do you hear. With the same measure you use, it will be measured to you, and to you who hear, more will be given. But for whoever has to him, more will be given. But whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken away from him. Let's go to also the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 8, verse 15. L Luke chapter 8 verse 15 but the ones that fell on the good ground are those who having heard the word with a noble and good heart keep it and bear fruit with patience no one when he has lit a lamp covers it with a vessel or puts it under a bed but sits in a, on a lampstand than those who enter may see the light. For nothing is secret that will not be revealed, nor anything hidden that will not be known and come to light. Therefore, take heed how you hear. For whoever has, to him more will be given. And whoever does not have, even what he seems to have, 
will be taken from him. Amen. Keep the word with all care, says the word of God, because out of your heart spring the issues of life. If you are a wild grape, or if your your fruit is a wild grape, if your life is a wild grape, If you are a good vine that bears good fruit, effective, God is glorified. This depends on your own heart. Out of your heart depends because to your wife, the m husband, from your heart de depends your wife. If your heart deceitful and exceedingly perverted as it is, and you don't intervene in your heart to correct it, so you don't become a wild grape, then you'll then your wife will become a wild grape because you are a wild grape. And if you and your wife don't care to change your heart what are wild grapes, then your children are going to become wild grapes as well. And if your children become wild grapes because you, mother, is a wild grape, And the Word of God says that resolute yes and amen. doesn't say this to scold us, but it shows us to show us the way to return or repentance of salvation. And I, in all those situations, and I have to say today, confess, I, and ask the Lord, would I be in the rapture of the church? And the and the answer was negative and I started to s to search on and I was looking for this and I was asking the Lord he said no and I kept searching out I was and I was saying I was asking the Lord he kept saying no and I searched on I was searching out and I was here fun I was confessing I was pulling a, at some point the light of God came and he said, now you are in the rapture, but remain like that. To whom, do you know to whom he was saying this? He was saying this, that I had absolute trust in my sanctification. Of course I would say I'm to be blamed for many things, but I had absolute trust because I love the Word of God. But brethren, it's not just to love the Word of God, but also to walk in the Word of God. It's not the great sins, because I couldn't find great sins, but it's the little foxes that eat the fruit, and the vineyard becomes fruitless. It's also the thorns and the briars that ruin the fruit and make it wild grapes. May God preserve us. May God preserve us. It is expedient to draw near to God as guilty and ask him Lord what do you want me to correct and God because he wants to correct you he's going to tell you but know this good brother but your wife is a wild grape because your heart is a wild grape and your children are a wild grape of what grapes? Your environment is what grapes? Because you're wild grapes. I'll say this. We are wild grapes. And what matters now is to find healing. 
we have diagnosed ourselves. Now we need healing. And the healing is two things. Watch out for what you hear and watch on how you hear. There you're gonna, then you're going to understand everything. You're going to understand what you hear all day yeah. from the internet, from TV. Yeah. What do you hear all day? Yeah. If you hear the Word of God, then you enter in, into correction. If you hear other words, interesting, then you enter into the wild grapes. Now, we should not come for uh, strengthening each other, but, it's, but more importantly, it is to be under the rebuking of the Holy Spirit. What do you hear? From the morning till night, What is that you hear? What do you hear in your car? In your, in your house, what do you hear? When you speak, what do you hear? If you hear the Word of God, the Word of God is the power of God that saves those who believe it. Then the Lord will do even greater things what you think, believe, and uh, hope. He's going to do even more according to the power that works in your heart, the receiving Word of God. And the second important point is how you hear. With the measure you hear the, the Word of God, with the same measure, measure of interest, God will act on your behalf. If you hear, but think other things, you hear, but how do you hear? If you hear well, but you don't pay gr great attention, watch out, then he's not going to pay great, great attention to your life. <coughs> But you have the gift of prophecy. You're preaching. It matters not. You know how many preachers are not going to make it, make it to the rapture of the church? Or how many prophets? You know how many miracle workers are not going to make it to the rapture of the church? If you never miss church service, if you what is this now? To come with a don't you understand that you are a wild grape? Church starts at 10. You come at 11.30. Don't you understand that your fruit is going to be bloody? Don't you understand that you live like a tragic wild grape? What is the time you come into the church? And only Sunday. You're not interested in the Word of God. Don't you want to hear the Word of God? You have other jobs to perform. You planted a field and you go into the, your field. <coughs> you have five pairs of oxen taking care of you. You have family problems. Do you understand? What have you done? will be a wild grape. And the wall was going to come down. The hedge will be consumed. Your life will be, your life will be trampled down. And then the absolute dryness will come to your life. God cannot be mocked. We can, we can't play Christians. Neither the church. Either we are disciples of Christ or we are disciples of this world. If either we're going to have good grape or we're going to produce wild grapes, and it's a pity or a sin. 
have children and to send my children the devil to the perdition and not to care and not to care the time will come that will be crying if today we don't repent remember today repent cleanses all sin remember the king of Nineveh when his Jonah said to him in 40 days and the city will be destroyed he said maybe the Lord will pity me I will fast I will repent I will not drink or eat no my animals you're perishing brother and sister we are perishing brethren our life is perishing what time is the morning you come to church what did you come to do at the church did you come to hear the, uh, the word of God did you come for the Lord to did you come for the rain to visit you no you came as a joke may God preserve us may God preserve us we're not fooling around whoever sows in his flesh will reap eternal corruption whoever sows the Holy Spirit it means I'm ruled by the Holy Spirit I'm directed led by the Holy Spirit I live by the Holy Spirit and God what is he going to do he's going to bear internal life whoever sows the Holy Spirit will, will reap internal life we want, I want all of us to reap internal life but in order to repeat internal life we all have to repent we all have to return to God and the Lord especially his disciples his own private disciples who did not understand the parable they said to all of them the parable of the word of God the parable of the of the good sower today let us understand your brethren uh, help me understand Lord I have to understand he says let me tell you the sower went out to sow this his seed today today these words are not my words I can confirm that to you I can say that with all the part of my soul it's not my message I will never dare to say those things and God knows this it wasn't the power of the Holy Spirit and within me God knows how much cowardice I have in within me and to say but it's God who gives us to say to tell a sower went out to sow but your heart what a condition is it out of the abundance of your heart spring the issues of life your heart is filled of complaints trumbled down it's full of anger hardness how is your heart you can't forgive you can humble yourself you arguing with other people you have opinions and views you have knowledge you're so important and you know more than others you know things that exceed the word of God what is those things that you're doing why are you doing those things why why did you do those things king of Nineveh how did you live your life like that in 40 days all Nineveh will be destroyed tremble down I know I know 
it's them who don't know. They know how right I am. They don't understand how righteous I am. And the word of God falls, but it's useless because Satan comes and takes it away. Because the heart is hardened in arrogance. The spirit is wild in pride. Not wild grapes. Bad wild grapes. Second category of the chosen ones. And God speaks to the chosen ones, not to the cold. Second category is the ones who who are on rock. Interest cares. Opinions, views. They receive the word of God. The word of God grows, springs up, but it doesn't bear fruit because the heart is full of rock. The life is wild grapes. His personal and the personal and the church love. Instead of building, they're offending. Instead of serving, subjugate. Instead of the, f of the first difficulty, the first persecution, the dry up and the leave. And the third category of the chosen ones of God. I don't believe. We believe. I believe we're all chosen ones because we're the church. We're the children of God who made decision to walk and live under the will of God. I used to say this and used to boast. We are saying this and boast. We want to be the pillar foundation of the truth. But, but the hearts filled through of thorns and briars, useless things, pursuits, ambitions, cares, riches, desires. It's all right if our girl wears tights. It's okay if our girl wears shorts. The result is wild grapes. I, I cannot I cannot handle my wife. She's well grim. You don't know yours, yourself. You never had authority with the, 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 uh, the Holy Spirit. My children, <coughs> children not doing well. It's your heart. My brother doesn't understand a thing. It's your fault. How beautiful it is to go to the day of the Lord and to say, it's my fault. As the king of Nineveh went and said, it's my fault. It's not my people. I will repent. And if repent, and if you are the head, everybody will repent. And if you fast, everybody will fast. If you seek, Everybody else will seek. Hallelujah. There is the one who bears 30, 60, uh, and 100 fold. And there is that special category of chosen ones who bear 100 fold of fruit. And they have three characteristics. First, <coughs> they keep in the hearts, which is a good soil, the Word of God. They keep it there. The Word of God dwells there richly. 
that don't despise it. Because we've heard all things many times. It's that category of people who keep the word of God. And a good heart. Pleasing to God. And they keep the heart in a in a good soil. You know there are, there are vines. We had a vine once that was a very good ground. It had the best produce. My my dad used to prune it, but on its own it would produce very good fruit because it was in good soil. He took another vine. Then he have such good soil. He used to prune that too. But it wouldn't produce such good f f grape. And whoever has farming knowledge, you understand what I'm saying. I had gone, had gone to Ukraine and I saw some really good soil. It was black. It was f rich, fertile soil. Whatever you will plant there it will grow really high up. Is my heart like that? No, it's not. But God can make it like that. Well, that's a great secret of the blessing Christian. God may change everything. May give me hundredfold soil. He may grant me a rich heart. Not rich, rich in praise. Rich in the praise of God. And that heart bears fruit a hundredfold, but in patience. We have need of, of patience in order to do the will of God. Without patience, we cannot do the will of God. We, have, we need patience in order to perform the will of God. And then we'll enjoy the promise of God. No one who lights up a lamp covers it with a vessel or under a bed or puts it under a bed. Or with a profession person, we hide the word of God. What does it mean to hide the word of God? It, uh, it means that we kept the word of God and didn't deny the name of the Lord. We don't hide. God is going to bless our word. Neither under a bed. Rest. Good times. Fleshly desires. What do we do with the word of God? Whoever lights up. A lamb puts him on a lamb stand in order to have good fruit and for that fruit to remain, for people to see Christ. To evangelize people with your testimony of your life. For God to be glorified in your life. God to be pleased in your life. Because he sees your interest for the word of God. How is the interest of God proven in my life and is evident and manifest? Study these things in order to remain not the Word of God. The disaster of the preachers is when they study the Word of God in order to preach it, and the prophets and the elders when they study in order to know the Word of God instead of experiencing that the blessing is to study in order to do the good, acceptable, pleasing Word of God. Thus, I'm studying the Word of God. And pay attention to the wild grapes. Pay attention to yourself. Pay attention to the sound doctrine, not to turn to the left or the right. Then it will be useful to God. For yourself, you will save yourself and you want to gonna become a wild grape. Your wife. Thus, 
I'm saying I'm at fault for my wife and you are at fault for your wife. We are at fault for our children. I am at fault for my brethren. It's your fault. Pay attention to yourself and the teaching. And then you will save yourself and those who hear you. And your fruit will be a hundredfold. You want to give a hundredfold to God. The praise of glory. Brethren, everything is in, in our heart and our mind. That's why they're saying for the ones who are addicted to heroin, <coughs> they say it's in the heart and to the mind, and Christ is in the heart and the mind as well. Do you love him? Do you want to follow him? This is all. Are you interested in the word of God? Are you interested to fulfill the word of God and the will of God in your life? Then will bring heavy rain in your life. Because the time of the heavy rain always drawing near. The Lord will bring heavy rain. You're not going to know where you're going to put the, the heavy powers of the Holy Spirit. The blessing, the blessing of God. You're not going to know where to place them. Because God is placed to the vine that bears good fruit and good fruit. To the glory of the name of the Lord. Help us, Lord. Amen. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Let us stand up to seek help.